Today, Focal Point is all about style. Our first segment will be focused on the fashion sense of a few of our students. Then, we ask even more students about their fashion and how culture affects it. Stay with us and learn how to become fashionable. Hello, I'm Maya Trendy. And I'm Tom McCarran. Welcome to Focal Point, the magazine show about the Community College of Philadelphia on CCP-TV, the Emmy-nominated educational channel of Community College of Philadelphia. Tom, I am so excited for today's topic. What is wrong with you, Maya? The same thing that's wrong with you, Tom. Style. Which is super important to me. Preparing an outfit and wearing it confidently and proudly is one of the best feelings, even when I'm choosing what to wear for this show. Splendid, Maya. Let's see how excited these CCP students are about their own fashion sense. Watch this. I would define style as how you express yourself through fashion. About how your color choice, what garments, what pieces that you feel comfortable in. Whether it be you like a nice pair of shoes or you like a jacket, just whatever elevates your confidence and kind of betrays the image that you want to. I define fashion as um, a sense of what you're attracted to. It could be colors, it could be patterns, and a traditional sense of what fashion is. Most people are looking to trends and magazines and runway, and a lot of the things that people see on a runway are not typical everyday fashion. Certain people that inspire my fashion sense, um, I guess would be Blondie. Um, I really like all her music and her fashion is always on point. Riley Blue from Sense8. Uh, I really like all of her styles and it's like comfy, kind of rockerish look. My aunt is a big person that inspires my fashion sense because I get a lot of my clothes from my aunt. And she always says like, oh, I got this in the 1970s before you were born. And I was like, I love this so much. Um, Zendaya. I love her. She can just go into any style, genre, time period. Yara Shahidi. Betty Davis is really my style because I like loud prints and natural hair and just like natural makeup but then like loud pieces. A couple, a couple people that really inspire my own personal style and fashion sense are Ralph Lauren, um, Tommy Hilfiger, especially their collections from the 90s. And they kind of introduced a lot of color blocking, a lot of polos, button downs, and just a lot of just smart casual pieces. If you went through your family's photo albums and you saw your favorite aunt in the 1970s, that's me on a good day. It's like my hair, my glasses, my round glasses, and some type of crazy print pants that's always like wide and flowing. I would describe my style as somewhat classic, trendy, a little laid back. I like a lot of foundational um, general pieces as far as polos, oxfords, um, jackets, boots, but also sometimes with a little trendy flair as far as um, a trend in color or trend in pattern. I like to mix it up a little bit in that way, kind of just to stay relevant, but keep it a little classic. I prefer some type of gold necklace. Black, um, black anything. Black's usually a staple for people, so uh, wear a lot of black. Um, base pieces that I prefer, and for my personal style, are, um, like I stated earlier, boots, jackets, button-ups. Um, yeah, just, just some pieces that I can kind of dress up or dress down, so they're kind of like transferable and kind of transitional from day to evening situations. Like it just, they don't necessarily have a distinct place, but they look like they belong everywhere. After watching that segment, I have a whole new perspective on fashion. Which you needed, Tom. And you know, I wasn't born with the name Trendy. I earned it. Well, I don't know why you say that, because now I find myself I have a French accent, Maya Trendy, okay? Okay, <laughs> let's check out the final clip that has students exploring the ideas of fashion and its cultural influences. Check it out. The definition of me being myself is just 
realizing when I'm at my top capacity and just doing that over and over again. Just being authentic, following your heart, um, doing what makes you happy. Um, if it's good or bad, just, you know, following your gut. Being myself means understanding my history and culture and uh, reflecting my history and culture. Of course, I think I should follow what I believe that like my faith, my cultures, and I should do what kind of what kind of person I want. Unapologetically being you, that means loving yourself to the fullest, loving yourself to the highest power that you possibly can. Is that being yourself with no apologies, no shame, just being you, without caring what anyone thinks? It means taking all the influences that you gather throughout your life and making it your own. My ethnicity background is American. Black, African American. African American and, you know, American Indian. Chinese. I'm a straight African American, straight black, you feel me? I'm an African American. I'm African American. I'm Jamaican. Born there, but I was raised here, West Philadelphia. I've just been here since the beginning of time. My ancestors have been here since the beginning of time, all over the planet, you know what I mean? What makes me most proud about my culture? We're thriving. We got black people raking all the right moves. We got black movies, black entrepreneurs, black businesses. We gotta go 10 times harder, but we always, we always fight through. So there's nobody like us, we're strongest. I love uh, the sense of community that we have when we work together. Um, I love our passion to do what's best for each other. I believe the Chinese, most of the Chinese will care about the someone, even though that guy, they don't know each other. I'm proud that we still here. I'm proud that my culture still exists. I mean, we went through centuries and centuries of just like being broken down, being torn apart, being having history erased. So to be here in 2018 in America and still be lit, still be dope. I'm happy that my culture still exists. I'm proud of that and I'm proud to carry on the legacy of it. My definition of fashion is anything that you could put on your body, anything and however you want to express yourself. A physical outward expression of internal ideas. Fashion has inspired me because it's a way for me to express myself. When I have a good outfit on, I'm in the best mood. I can get all my homework done. I want to go to the gym. There's no matter what you wear, whatever you wear, whatever clothes you want to put on, whatever the shoes, it doesn't matter. Just, you make, you just wear the clothes, what would make you feel confident? And that's it. When you get dressed and look in the mirror and be like, and you feel like, yo, this is hot, then it's hot. It's, like, it's up to you. Compassion is completely up to you. Some encouraging words I could give to somebody who doesn't know anything about my culture is that despite any wrong or like down shading opinions you may have heard about us, we, we got our own thing going on and we, we love it. And yet another piece about how important self-expression is. It's incredibly interesting, Maya. You know, I pick my clothes off a of floor in the morning and I smell them, and if they smell fresh, I wear it. That sounds very simple, Tom. I wish it was the same for me. I actually try on about three outfits before I pick one to leave out with. But besides that, I'm afraid that this is all the time that we have. You have been watching Focal Point, the magazine show about the Community College of Philadelphia on CCP-TV the Emmy-nominated educational channel of the Community College of Philadelphia. I am Maya Trendy. And I'm Tom McCarran. We're students at the college. See you next time.